All right, before we get started, I'd like to say I'll bother the finger, finger, go fuck yourself, because you made me watch this for eight weeks and eight hours of pain, especially the first week, which we had to watch all three episodes at once, and I hope you're happy. So, but before we get started, also, 70, all top critics are 70, 83, and audience that a Stinking forty nine percent. So without further ado, the final review of Ring the Power because I am no longer I don't exist anymore because of the show. So we're gonna start with BS recap. Uh Dwarf Cave, yada 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 from the last episode, okay. Then, fourth, which there should not only be one during at a time, but this because it's way too confusing. Um, during the orders, the fourth orders for during the third to, to ch chamber during the fourth. And it's so to not, oh, put him in a chamber, yeah. Regardless of what she hears, yells at during the third to take off the ring. The dwarf should never beg, because he literally be begs him. Um, hits, yeah, hits the mountain. Um, yeah, then Balrog comes out when it should not even be here yet. Which should not be here at the time. It doesn't happen until the third age. Okay, during the third, sacrifice himself for his son. It gets the Balrog, and... If I can find a picture, it's a, a meme. Rings of Power. It is... Is it? Anyway, um, yeah, let's take a look at the Balrog. Sure, this, yeah. Balrog, there we go. There's a nice picture, okay. Bound, yeah, um, attack himself for son against the Balrog, crappy. Rings of Power intro, yeah, that entire intro with the Balrog was probably the, be the only good part of the entire show. I'm being generous. And that was only the intro of the show. That was five minutes in. And it was that. That's all that happened. Okay. Crap. Yeah, the intro was bad. Oh, it was random singing. Gadolf in the dark. Gadolf was Dark Wizard. Dark Wizard was not a name he embraces. So he says, and then he shows it by trying to kill all the people, which. Based. I mean. The Harfoots and Stoolsters, or whatever you want to call them, are didn't were just bad. Wizard fight threatens all the midgets. Daughter of Elendil gathers everyone. Muriel shares allies, which she passes. Clears all the members of the faithful are traitors. Uh, tries to get her father out um, to leave for the west. Nurse. Oh, this part is so bad. Uh, Mario gives Narsil to Elendil, which, hey, it's the sword that killed Sauron later. And it's called the White Flame and sword that defeats Sauron, which later gets reforced to Rendil, which means Flame of the West. And then she says, reclaim your role from Mario. And then Orcs versus Elf Battle rages. Galadriel offers the Nine Rings for the women and children to to escape safely, which the 
the orbs, I mean, the orbs would have killed them already, but that's, we don't think about logic with the show. Um, torture killing women for the, for the nine rings. Shad, says Shadow Mordor, claims he's a, a slave to himself. Prove utter ruin, Lord, and then says Lord of the Rings. Orcs ask if he saw on. He asks what hit what his name. He says he has many names and asks who the what his name is. And then Theo and Isildur held why Isildur's plan to leave. You gay? Oh, that's a gay. It was pretty gay. To be fair. Um, girl comes with. Oh, put back, talks about her and her love, and this sort of is happy for her, asks her to come with him. Yeah, they kiss, so that's definitely an affair. Numenor, um, yeah, the um, oh, yeah, the son of the kings of, it's now a colony of Numenor, and now he's become a dictator. Um, Galadriel turns herself herself in, offers to help Sauron, but doesn't have her ring. Fair meant to put defeat Sauron, but you know whatever. Adar looks more elfish with a ring, which I thought they were gonna say this guy was hit her husband, which thankfully they didn't. Offers the ring back to for. For a lasting peace between orcs and elves, which never happens because they're evil. Sauron tried to make it. Uruk betray Adar, which he does. The Uruk stabs Adar, and then all the orcs start stabbing him. And then Sauron grabs his little horn helmet. All the orcs kill Adar. The Eric's pledge allegiance to Sauron, the Dark Lord, Lord Sauron, yada yada. Gilagel tries to kill Sauron, but uses his helmet to block, which is so freaking stupid. Sauron wishes to heal all of Middle Earth, Orcs, raise Regeon, and burn. And Elrond begs Orcs to leave the script, which they buried it anyway, because what did you think? Did you think an orc was going to listen to you? Yeah, starts fighting, uh, burns an orc. Um, they start, yeah, burning the books, which is similar to something from 1945. Um, Sauron and Galen will keep fighting. Sauron does his, does space swap trick, because he can shapeshift between people. Um, Gladril, oh, Back to Hellbrand to conflict her. Sean shapeshifts um, then to Galadriel as Galadriel, and then kill a more. And then Sauron defeats Galadriel, says he knows her. The door is still open, and she says the door is shut. Sauron stabs Galadriel with her his helmet. And says, I would have placed a crown on your head. I would have basically torn down Middle Earth until you were queen. Takes the nine rings. The, says the rings are mine. Battle between Elf and Orc. Yada yada. Turn arrives and says the pride. The prince is in mourning. Or the, yeah, that or the prince is no more. Sauron tries to control her mind. Uh, and then she. But she, it doesn't work, and she falls off a cliff and said, You wish to heal Middle Earth, but heal yourself. And then she falls on the cliff, and somehow she just is, falls on the. They're perfectly fine. Elf. Yeah, on um, the Dawn Limit, I find the larger Let's see the wound, which. Spirit is beyond. Mm, mortal Realm, Shadow Realm. They try to. Save her, but Elrond says they can't. They thought they couldn't, but Elrond says they can. And to bring, her, and then the Harfoots and stools 
Something lost cannot be thin, yada yada yada, shows destruction. We're much bigger than any of us. And then Muriel, oh, that's Poppy saying. And then showed between Muriel and Shane's, Electron looking back at its head on fire. Try and build something new. They hug, blah blah. Nobody calls get off grand off, which. Ooh, okay. In a not so di different, Novi says, walks away, you know, picks up a staff, which is his staff, guys. Um, walks in the dark, come town, men to choose friendship. A wizard doesn't choose his staff, Shaft chooses his, like he chooses his name. And then he calls himself Gandalf. Oh, and also the whole staff thing and they literally caught half some of this stuff was probably from harry potter um saying they're going to call me that and sing songs about me uh dark. yeah and then they start singing yada 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 dark elf during the fourth says very young fell because of dune is ready to offer other dwarves lay claim to the dwarf lord glyra wakes up and meets King Elf, that's what it is. Elrond says the sanctuary protected by the Elder Ring. Don Lemon shows up to decide whether to fight or fall back. And then they call her commander Galadriel, even though the king's right there. Remember the council of California? Light overcomes darkness, the sun yet shines. King Elf takes the sword and all the elves to the rest. And then beat as Reddits. And that's it. And they act like they won when they literally just got defeated, but, you know. Yeah, that's the end of The Rings of Power Season 2. Hopefully there is not a third. And last thing I can say is... Um, this show was... This season was worse than Season 1 by far. In terms of how it looked, it looked slightly better but story wise and coherently it it ruined it worked it did w more damage than season one but that is my final review the last episode and my final review for season two of rings of power overall it was at a three or less that's my final review on Rings of Power, Episode 8, and Season 2 as a whole. Until next crappy TV show. I will see you later.